allows motion of an object. In general, force can be defined as push or pull on an object which provides motion to it. Force is something which is never seen but its effect is observed in the form of motion of an object. Force is also responsible for change in shape and size of an object. Forces can be balanced or unbalanced. Let's first learn about them. Balanced force and unbalanced forces. Let's say John pushes box from one side with force F and at the same time Daisy pushed the same box from opposite side with same force F. Will this box move? No, box will not change its position. This is because forces on both the sides are equal. Such a force is called balanced force. Now consider another case where John alone applies force on the box. So here, does the box move? Yes, this is because force applied by John is the only force acting on the box. Such force is called unbalanced force. Frictional force Dear students, when a ball is kicked, you must have observed that ball rolls for a while with gradual decrease in speed. At an instant, rolling of the ball stops. Question definitely arises that why doesn't the ball keep on rolling? How does it stop automatically? This means that definitely there is something or there is some force which opposes the rolling of ball due to which the ball stops. This force is called as frictional force. Therefore, frictional force is defined as an opposite force exerted by the surface on which the object moves. We are moving the magnet towards the nail. And at this point, the nail also begins to move towards the magnet. It means the force came into action even even when there was no contact between the magnet and the nail. Hence we can say that a magnetic force is not a contact force. Contact is... Throw a ball upwards. What do you observe? After reaching to some height, it comes down to the ground. Why? Because our earth exerted some force on it and pulls it down. This pull of the earth is called gravitational force. All are known as types of forces.